I grew up in, in New Jersey. I worked, you know, whatever jobs I could get as babysitting and then lifeguarding and then newspaper routes from when I was a young teenager and then I left for college when I was 17. I worked on Wall Street on a trading floor for an investment bank. Uh, I was, it was probably about 10% women on the trading floor. I made my husband and fell in love with him and fell in love with California and I started my own company, a, a natural foods company. And several years after that, I was invited to speak to a group of high school seniors and it was, it changed my life. They wanted me to talk to them about college, but very quickly I found that almost none of the students that I was speaking to had taken the classes that allowed them to even apply to college. I sold my company and decided I would devote my life full time to opening up access to education for all students. If you live in a family, in a community where you don't know anyone that's been to college, it's very difficult to get the information that you need in order to, to be the first. So that's what we do at College Track. We learned really in the very beginning days what, how imperiled undocumented students are in America. And then I think everyone that was involved with the students became advocates to change the, the policy. Uh, first, we decided to change the practice, so we raised our own scholarship funds for all of our students, but then we worked at the policy level as well and continue to do so because that policy hasn't changed yet. We're all this close to being an immigrant in this country if we're not ourselves immigrants. And to have such hateful rhetoric and such bad public policy um, that doesn't allow for the, the flow of immigration and the integration into society for recent immigrants seems to me short-sighted at best because we know that immigrants are the economic engine and we know that they're a creative engine and we know how, how hardworking and self-determined immigrants are, so it makes no sense to me. Right now we're working on a big uh, project that we launched called XQ, the Super School Project, which is a national challenge to communities across America to redesign high school in their communities. The teams that have assembled across America have gone through all the modules and learned a lot about what we know about brain science, about new teaching and learning techniques, about what the new workforce demands are, and, so, and they've come up with very big ideas to completely change the high schools that are in their communities. I think you can't encourage students enough. I think you can't build their self-esteem enough. I think without, without promising something unreasonable, truly seeing an individual and listening to them and believing in them changes their lives. So I tell teachers that all the time. For the students, I tell them to have faith and work hard and, and stay on track and, and keep as their North Star their dreams because as they continue to build their brains and their capacities, they need the will that comes from within. They need to believe in it and they need to keep working towards it. I have several Ganesh uh, pieces and Ganesh is the remover of obstacles. If I feel like the obstacles are too complex and too complicated and too leggy uh, and too hard, you know, I always will have a, a Ganesh there either at my bedside table or on my desk at work that reminds me that all obstacles can be removed.